In the vast expanse of the cosmos, we find celestial objects engaged in a delicate dance governed by the laws of physics. Stars are born, they shine brightly and eventually fade away. Similarly, on our pale blue dot, economies ebb and flow, driven by a complex interplay of human actions and decisions. Among these indicators, gross domestic product, or GDP, stands out as a beacon, illuminating the overall size and performance of an economy. Like a cosmic yardstick, GDP measures the total value of all goods and services produced within a country's borders over a specific period, typically a year. Understanding GDP is crucial for policymakers, business leaders and citizens alike, as it provides insights into a country's economic well-being and its ability to provide for its people. Imagine the sheer scale of economic activity happening around us every single day. From the coffee you buy in the morning to the car you drive to work, it's a symphony of transactions, all contributing to a nation's GDP. GDP acts as a barometer, measuring the pressure of this economic activity, giving us a sense of whether the economy is expanding or contracting. By tracking GDP over time, we gain valuable insights into long-term economic trends, allowing us to identify periods of boom and bust. While GDP serves as a valuable compass, it's essential to remember that it's not a perfect measure. GDP excels at quantifying economic output, but fails to capture the qualitative aspects of our lives, such as happiness, health, and environmental sustainability. It's like trying to understand the beauty of a star cluster solely by measuring its luminosity. We miss out on the intricate details that make it truly awe-inspiring. Imagine GDP as the cosmic currency of an economy, a universal measure of the value generated within its borders. It represents the total monetary worth of all final goods and services, from the smallest trinket sold at a local market to the most sophisticated machinery rolling off assembly lines. Calculating GDP involves summing up the value of all these goods and services, providing a snapshot of the economy's size and activity level. Each transaction, each product created, adds to the GDP, illuminating the vitality of a nation's economy. Economists employ a seemingly simple yet powerful equation to calculate this cosmic currency. GDP equals consumption plus investment plus government spending plus net exports. Each component represents a vital piece of the economic puzzle, contributing to the overall picture of a nation's economic well-being. Consumption encompasses all the spending by households on goods and services, from groceries and clothing to healthcare and entertainment. Investment captures the money businesses pour into expanding their operations, building factories, purchasing equipment and developing new technologies. To truly grasp the concept of GDP, imagine a bustling marketplace, a symphony of transactions happening simultaneously. A baker sells fresh loaves of bread, this contributes to consumption. A carpenter crafts intricate furniture, this adds to investment. The local government invests in building a new bridge. This reflects government spending. Each transaction, each exchange of goods and services adds a note to this economic symphony and GDP acts as the conductor, orchestrating these individual actions into a harmonious whole. Picture a bustling city centre, a kaleidoscope of shops, restaurants and entertainment venues all vying for the attention and wallets of eager consumers. This is consumption in action, the lifeblood of any thriving economy. It's the collective spending power of individuals and households that fuels the demand for goods and services, driving businesses to innovate, expand and create jobs. From everyday essentials to discretionary purchases, consumption represents the largest component of GDP in most developed economies. When consumers feel optimistic about the future, they tend to spend more freely, boosting demand and stimulating economic activity. Now let's shift our focus from the bustling marketplace to the factories and construction sites where the future is being built brick by brick, line of code by line of code. This is the realm of investment, the engine of long-term economic growth and prosperity. 
Businesses invest in their future by pouring resources into expanding their operations, upgrading their equipment and developing innovative products and technologies. These investments, while not immediately reflected in current consumption, are crucial for increasing productivity, creating new jobs and enhancing a nation's competitiveness in the global marketplace. Imagine a company investing in a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility equipped with cutting-edge robotics and automation. This investment not only increases the company's production capacity, but also creates new, high-skilled jobs for engineers, technicians and operators. Beyond the bustling marketplaces and the hum of factories, there exists another vital force shaping the contours of the economic landscape the role of government spending and net exports. Governments, through their fiscal policies, play a crucial role in influencing economic activity. Their spending on infrastructure projects, public services like education and healthcare, and social welfare programs can stimulate demand, create jobs, and provide a safety net for vulnerable populations. Imagine a government investing in a nationwide high-speed rail network, connecting major cities and facilitating the movement of people and goods. This investment not only creates construction jobs in the short term, but also fosters economic growth in the long run by improving transportation efficiency. Imagine a bustling global bazaar, a vibrant tapestry of nations exchanging goods and services, each contributing to the intricate dance of international trade. This is the realm of net exports, a key component of the GDP equation. When a country exports more than it imports, it enjoys a trade surplus, indicating high global demand. This surplus boosts GDP, reflecting wealth inflow. Conversely, a trade deficit occurs when imports exceed exports, suggesting higher demand for foreign goods. Understanding net exports offers insights into economic relationships and global trade position. Imagine a society with a sky-high GDP, boasting impressive economic growth year after year. But beneath the veneer of prosperity, a different story unfolds. Stress levels soar as people work longer hours, sacrificing leisure time and personal relationships in the pursuit of ever-increasing material wealth. This hypothetical scenario highlights a crucial limitation of GDP, its inability to capture the multifaceted nature of human well-being. Factors like happiness, mental and physical health, social connections and a sense of purpose are absent from the GDP equation, rendering it an incomplete measure of societal progress. Now picture a factory humming with activity, churning out products at an impressive rate, contributing significantly to a nation's GDP. But what the GDP figures fail to capture is the plume of smoke billowing from the factory's chimneys, releasing harmful pollutants into the atmosphere. This illustration underscores another critical limitation of GDP, its failure to account for the environmental costs of economic activity. The air we breathe, the water we drink, the biodiversity that sustains us, these invaluable assets are not factored into GDP calculations, leading to a distorted picture of progress. Imagine a stay-at-home parent, their days filled with the demanding yet often invisible labour of caring for children, maintaining a household and nurturing family bonds. Their efforts, while essential for the well-being of the family and society as a whole, are not captured in GDP statistics. This omission highlights another significant blind spot of GDP its inability to account for the value of unpaid work, often performed within households and communities. Imagine two countries with identical GDP figures, suggesting comparable levels of economic output. However, a closer look reveals a stark contrast. In one country, wealth is concentrated in the hands of a privileged few, while a vast majority struggles to meet their basic needs. In the other, wealth is distributed more equitably, leading to a higher overall standard of living for its citizens. This example exposes another crucial limitation of GDP, its inability to account for the distribution of income and wealth within a society.
Imagine navigating a vast ocean under a sky teeming with stars. Each star, while magnificent in its own right, provides little guidance on its own, yet together they form constellations, patterns that have guided sailors for millennia. GDP, like a celestial compass, might not capture every nuance of the economy, but it provides a crucial navigational tool. It allows us to chart our course, measure our progress, and understand our position relative to other nations. Consider the constellation of a recovering economy. After a recession, GDP growth, like a newly visible star, signals a return to health. Increased consumer spending shines brighter, reflecting renewed confidence. Investment, like a distant nebula coming into focus, indicates businesses are laying the groundwork for future expansion. These positive GDP signals, while not telling the whole story, provide crucial reassurance and direction for policymakers and investors alike. Conversely, a decline in GDP, like a star fading in brightness, can alert us to potential economic storms. Recognizing these signals allows for timely interventions, like adjusting interest rates or implementing stimulus packages to help stabilize the economic ship. Looking beyond individual nations, GDP allows us to compare the economic size and performance of different countries, revealing a galaxy of economic activity. We can identify global economic powerhouses like brightly shining galaxies and those struggling to emerge from poverty like faint distant stars. This comparison provides a framework for international cooperation, development aid and foreign investment, helping to lift struggling economies and promote global prosperity. Furthermore, GDP data can be broken down to analyze specific sectors of the economy, revealing constellations within constellations. This granular view informs policies aimed at fostering innovation, supporting struggling sectors and creating jobs where they're needed most. While GDP serves as a valuable compass in our economic journey, we must remember that it's not the only star in the sky. Just as skilled navigators rely on multiple tools and observations, we must complement GDP with other indicators to gain a more holistic understanding of societal well-being. Measures of income inequality, environmental impact, health outcomes and education levels provide valuable insights into the true progress of a nation. By embracing a constellation of indicators, we can navigate towards a future where economic prosperity goes hand in hand with social justice, environmental sustainability and a high quality of life for all. GDP, while a powerful tool, illuminates only a portion of a nation's true well-being. Just as a telescope reveals distant galaxies but not their music, GDP captures economic activity but misses human experience. High GDP often correlates with improved living standards, but it doesn't guarantee happiness, health or a sustainable future. To gauge a nation's progress, we must look beyond GDP and consider factors that contribute to a fulfilling life for all. As we stand on the precipice of the future, our understanding of progress must evolve beyond traditional economic indicators. Just as astronomers develop sophisticated instruments to peer deeper into the cosmos, we must seek new ways to measure what truly matters. Imagine a future where alongside GDP, we prioritize environmental sustainability, social justice and human well-being. A future where we measure progress by economic output, health, education and democracy. This holistic approach requires recognizing that true progress encompasses material wealth, well-being of our planet and flourishing of all people. Imagine a world where economic policies are crafted not just to boost GDP, but also to reduce inequality, promote environmental sustainability and foster a sense of shared prosperity. A world where the success of a nation is measured not just by its economic might, but also by the well-being of its citizens, the vibrancy of its arts and culture, and its contributions to the global community. This vision requires us to move beyond the abstract numbers of GDP and connect with the human stories behind the data. It's about understanding the aspirations, challenges, and dreams of people from all walks of life and ensuring that economic progress translates into tangible improvements in their lives.
Just as our understanding of the cosmos empowers us to navigate space, understanding economics empowers us to create a just and equitable world. By embracing a holistic view of progress, we can make decisions that benefit future generations. It's a journey of exploration and collaboration calling upon the best of our humanity. As we explore the economic cosmos, remember, true success lies in the legacy we leave behind. A legacy of shared prosperity and sustainability.